What's going on guys? Mike with Chit Chat Gaming. So today, what I want to talk about here, because there's really not a whole lot going on in the gaming industry right now anyways, as we're approaching E3 and such, I'm sure we'll find out a lot more. Me personally, I'm excited. I am waiting patiently for Animal Crossing to come out here in March. That's what I'm waiting for here. So what I want to talk about here today is I see everybody kind of talking about you know what their game of the decade was or what their biggest moment in gaming was of the past decade now for me personally here the xbox one the ps4 was great but for me though i have to say that it was the release of the nintendo switch so for me my moment of the decade was the release of nintendo switch here back on 20 or back on march 3rd of 2017 and the reason why is pretty simple here for me. I've always been a Nintendo fan, but again, you know, I love the Xbox. I like the PS4 as well too. Um, but for me, I've just always had a place in my heart for Nintendo. And the release and the launch of this actual console, there was so much hype and stuff behind it as well too that that's kind of what sucked me in here. Starting off at the very beginning, back in uh, January of 2017, we saw the Nintendo presentation. I remember actually sitting there with my son watching this on the couch. Um, you know, I had a long day at work. I couldn't wait to come home to be able to watch this presentation to see what we're going to be checking out for Nintendo Switch when it releases. I remember the price and such I was okay with. Uh, the release date was six weeks away from the presentation. And I was just like blown away by that because I couldn't believe that it was going to be, you know, releasing so soon. So for me, that was really exciting. And seeing things like Splatoon 2. Uh, you know, ARMS, 1-2 uh, Switch, and of course, ending it off with the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild trailer, which announced it was releasing on day one as well too as a launch title. I was excited. I couldn't wait. I went out uh, immediately when the uh, pre-orders opened up. I believe it was that night, late that night. I went over there and I pre-ordered on BestBuy.com. This one here, of course, with the neon Joy-Cons. And the wait was on six weeks later. I was able to get Nintendo Switch, but during that time though, there was, and I did some videos back then as well too, that's how hyped I was here when we first kind of started doing videos. Um, I'd watch things like, you know, C&D, when he actually did his uh, one month wait in line as well too, to launch Nintendo Switch, doing those vlogs that he did as well too, those daily videos, those got me hyped as well too, watching him in Triforce, waiting in line to be able to pick up Nintendo Switch. Um, you know, seeing some more trailers and footage and such of the, of the Breath of the Wild and all the other games to be coming out as well too. A little disappointed in the launch titles, but you know, Breath of the Wild was enough to hold me over until the spring when we got Splatoon 2. Then of course we're getting Mario Odyssey in the holiday season. But along the way, after watching those videos and such, I was just getting so hyped. And then you know, we got things announced like Snipper Clips as well too. Uh, we got some the King of the Fighters games as well that were uh, launched for the Neo Geo ACA as well too on Nintendo Switch. But the big day came. It was March the 3rd. I remember specifically here, I had actually taken half a day at work. I didn't need it because really the Switch wasn't releasing. I, I had it pre-ordered already anyways and it wasn't releasing until midnight. But I wanted to get there in time to be able to get some of the, uh, the Breath of the Wild Amiibos and such as well too because you had to wait in line for that. Um, so when I went up there, plus I wanted to get a pro controller, I, I did pick that up as well too. So ended up getting off early. Uh, me and my friend Bryce, who I did a couple shows with here on uh, Chit Chat Gaming earlier on, we went, we waited in line. Um, about about 9.30, we waited in line. It was freezing cold outside, March 3rd uh, here in Iowa. It's cold as heck. So we were outside waiting, couldn't wait to get in. We were like the second in line because we got there that early. Um, the line got huge as it got closer to midnight. Went inside. Picked up Nintendo Switch, you know, got my amiibo. I believe I got like the uh, all the all except for the um, the Guardian amiibos uh, for Breath of the Wild. Got my Pro Controller, of course. Like I mentioned, got my Nintendo Switch. Had it on pre-order, so I wasn't worried about it. Um, the games I got were, of course, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Here, had to pick this one up here. This is the game that I just could not wait to play. But another game I got to on launch date was Bomberman R. I'm a huge Bomberman fan. I could not wait to play this. I did pick up 1-2 Switch um, a few days later, which I do regret because that game was just not for me. It was fun to play with my family and such, and we had a lot of fun playing it, but it was just, just wasn't for me. But for me personally, though, I had a lot of fun with this game. I still pick it up once in a while. It's hard to find online games here, but it's still a good game. But for me, though, I have to say my game of the decade is Zelda Breath of the Wild here. So Nintendo Switch is my the whole launch. Uh, the excitement for that is my moment of the decade. 
and Zelda Breath of the Wild is indeed by far my game of the decade here. I spent so much time in this game. It's such a beautiful game. Um, it's by far, in my, in my opinion, one of the best Zelda games out there. Just such a great classic game here and uh, just everything behind it, you know, just with the shrines, you know, all the freaking uh, open worldness and everything and, and just all the, all the hours that you can actually put into this game and you still can't like get everything. I put in so much time into it. Uh, well over 100 hours, of course. Um, and, you know, I just, I've been having a lot of fun with it here. I picked it up here and there. I actually just got back into it the other day, uh, watching videos like the Nintendo Voice Chat and IGN. Those are the kind of things I like to do. That's how much nostalgia and how much love I have for the Nintendo Switch launch. I'll go back and I'll watch like the kind of funny games. I'll watch Nintendo Voice Chat. Their launch, or their reactions to the Nintendo you know, presentation back in January 2017. You know, their videos on Zelda Breath of the Wild as well too. All the Nintendo Directs. I just, I have a love and a passion for Nintendo Switch. I always will, um, always have for Nintendo in general. But again, I do love Xbox One. I do love the PlayStation as well too. But there's just something about Nintendo that gets you so happy and so excited. I just can't explain it. I don't know what it is. It's just something about Nintendo here. So again though, Zelda Breath of the Wild, my game of the year, or my game of the decade, sorry. And Nintendo Switch, my moments to launch and everything is my moment of the decade. So definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what your decade or your moment of the decade is as well as your game of the decade. Cause I'm definitely curious to see, it's a long 10 years. A lot of stuff has happened, a lot of games have happened. We had the release of the Xbox One, the PS4 as well too during that time. Um, Xbox One X, PS4 Pro, uh, Xbox One S, uh, you know, several, several things as well too, including the Nintendo Switch Lite. But again though, I want to hear what your guys' moment is. Cause for me, like I said, Nintendo Switch launch just had such a great impact on my life here in the past decade so once again guys make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification to keep updated on all things that is chit chat gaming and once again guys this has been mike with chit chat gaming saying happy gaming